This video is on binomial estimation. If we find some of the terms in a binomial expansion, we're able to estimate the values of large decimal powers. So what do I mean by this? Well, I think the easiest way to go for this is go for a typical exam question. This is a typical question about this topic. So for part A, this is just a binomial expansion which we went over in the binomial expansion video. So remember, ascending powers of x just means that we find the terms with the smallest powers. So we find the four terms with the smallest powers of uh, this expansion here. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to first of all consider the coefficient. So this is going to be, because it's to the power of 9, it's going to be 9c0 which is 1, 9c1 which is 9, 9c2 which is 36 if you put it into a calculator and 9c3 which is 84 and then we're going to multiply that by the next part then it is the 1 which we sub in and that is going to be 1 to the power of 9 and this is going to be 1 to the power of 8 1 to the power of 7 and 1 to the power of 6 and then we times this by, and remember because uh, this is the second term it makes finding the first four terms in ascending power of x very easily because we get here the uh, the uh, first four terms in ascending powers of x it's going to be remember to include the minus 2 in the bracket so it's going to be minus 2x and it's going to be the power of 0 minus 2x the power of 1 minus 2x the power of 2 and minus 2x to the power of 3 and then we find out what these terms are are, well this one up here is just going to be 1 because this is 1, this is 1 and to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. Remember 9 times 1 to the power of 8 times minus 2x is 9 times minus 2 for the coefficient which is minus 18 and then it's going to be x. Then it's 36 times minus 2 squared. Remember you have to square the minus 2 as well because the minus 2 is in the bracket which uh, if you put it into a calculator is equal to 1, 4, 4. It's not going to be negative because a negative ca uh, goes away for the square. And it's going to be x squared. And then finally it's 84 times minus 2 cubed which if you put it into a calculator is equal to minus 6, 7, 2. Include the minus 2 remember with the cube and then it's going to be x cubed. And if you write this down, this is 1 minus 18x plus 144x squared minus 672x cubed. So this is the expression we've made down here, and this is approximately equal to 1 minus 2x to the power of 9 up here. It's not exactly equal. For it to be exactly equal, we would have to find all the other um, terms as well. As we've only found the first few terms, it's not exactly equal, but it's approximately equal. We found enough terms for this to be quite close to the actual value of 1 minus 2x to the power of 9. So part B is the part we're unfamiliar with. We need to find the approximate value of 0 0.9991 to the power of 9. So how do we do that? Well, firstly, let's equal 0 0.9991 to the power of 9. Let's equal this to the bracket from before in part A, 1 minus 2 x to the power of 9 and let's rearrange this to make x the subject well what we can actually do is we can take the so-called ninth root of both sides remove the power of 9 on both sides to so do 0 0.9991 is equal to 1 minus 2x then we can bring the 1 onto the other side to so do minus 0 0.0009 is equal to minus 2x and then using a the calculator we can divide by minus both sides by minus 2 to get x is equal to 0 0.00045 and this is the value of x that we've rearranged for. So what can we actually do with this? Well we can actually sub this value of x into this expression that we got before in order to get the approximate value of 0 0.9991 to the power of 9. Why can we do this? Well if you think about it, here 
we have found the value of x for which if you sub it into 1 minus 2x to the power of 9, we get the exact value of 0 0.9991 to the power of 9 out. That's simply all we've done up here algebraically. We found the value of x for which 1 minus 2x to the power of 9 is equal to 0 0.9991 to the power of 9, and that is when x is equal to 0 0.00045. Now, as we uh, have up here and as we uh, discovered before, 1 minus 2x to the power of 9 is approximately equal to 1 minus 18x plus 144x squared minus 672x cubed. Now, because 1 minus 2x to the power of 9 is equal to 0. 9991 to the power of 9 when x is equal to 0 0.00045. Therefore, all we can just do is just sub this into this and just then say that 0 0.9991 to the power of 9 is approximately equal to 1 minus 18x plus 144x squared minus 672x cubed when x is equal to 0 0.00045. So just sub in this value of x to get the approximate value of 0 0.9991 to the power of 9. So let's do that. Let's sub 0 0.00045 as x into this expression. So it's going to be 1 minus 18 0 0.00045 plus 144 0 0.00045 squared, remember the squared, minus 672 0.00045 cubed, and if you put that into a calculator, that is equal uh, to four decimal places, the question specifically says it wants to, uh, it to, it is 0 0.9919. One, nine. So therefore, we can say that 0 0.9991 to the power of 9 is approximately equal to 0 0.9919. And if you actually put 0 0.9991 to the power of 9 into your calculator, you will actually get a value of 0 0.9919 as well when you round it to four decimal places. The fact we actually get the same value when we round it to four decimal places when we put it into our calculator shows it's a really good approximation. Now, really quick, this only works because x is a small value. If x was equal to something like 2, just using the first four terms would not give a good approximation to the full expansion. We'll talk about this more in year 2 binomial expansion, which is chapter 4 in year 2. So here's another typical exam question that they could ask you. So for part A, it says we need to find the first four terms of the binomial expansion in ascending powers of x. Remember, ascending powers of x means that we need to find the lowest power, so we just need to find the four lowest powers, aka just the first four terms of the bracket. So it's 2 to the power of 6, so the coefficient is going to mirror the sixth uh, row of Pascal's triangle. So it's going to be 1c0, which is 1, 1c1, which is 6, 1c2, which is 15, if you use your calculator, and 1c3, which is 20, and then we're going to multiply that by the next part of the term. Then we're going to sub in, uh, we're going to use 1 here as the next part. It's going to start to the power of 6, remember, so it's going to be 1 to the power of 6, then 1 to the power of 5, then 1 to the power of 4, then 1 to the power of 3, and then we're going to multiply that by the next part of the term. And then it's going to be the 3x. Remember, it's going to start from uh, 0 and go up, so it's going to be 3x to the power of 0, 3x to the power of 1, 3x to the power of 2 and 3x to the power of 3 and then we're going to find the value of all of these individually. All of this up here is just going to be 1 because 3x to the power of 0 is also 1 so it's going to be 1 here. The coefficient here is going to be, remember that all of these is just 1 to the power of so we can just ignore that. It's going to be 6 times 3 here for the coefficients which is 18 and then it's x. This is going to be 15 times 3 squared, which if you put it into a calculator is equal to 135 x squared, which would be x squared. And then finally, it's going to be for the coefficient 20 times 3 cubed, if you put it into a calculator, is equal to 540 x to the power 
of 3. So the expression here is 1 plus 18x plus 135x squared plus 540x cubed. So for part b we just need to use the same technique that we used before where we rearrange to make x a subject and then sub that into the expression we made before. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the bracket from before which was 1 plus 3x to the power of 6 and we're going to equal that to what we're trying to approximate 1.3069 to the power of 6. We can take the uh, power of 6 away from both sides to 1 plus 3x is equal to 1.3069. 069 take away 1 from both sides to do 3x is equal to 0 0.3069 and divide both sides by 3 to get x is equal to 0 0.1023 and then we just sub that into the expression up here to get 1 plus 18 0 0.1023 we we'll just sub in that as x plus 135 0.1023 3 squared, remember the squared, plus 540, 0 0.1023 to the power of 3, and this is equal to, it specifies that it wants it to 4 decimal places, this is equal to, if you put it into a calculator, 4.8323. So part C is quite a typical exam question where they ask you to calculate the percentage error in your approximation. AK, they want you to calculate how far away you are from the actual value percentage wise. The way you calculate this is by using the formula percentage error is equal to the estimate minus the actual, all of that over the actual times 100, where your estimate is the approximate value that you got before, and the actual value is just what you were actually trying to find, which in this instance is 1.3069 to the power of 6. Now, I don't think the order of these two at the top is too important. There's the only difference between the answers if you swap these two at the top is the sign, and most of the time I just ignore the sign and just write the answer without it. So, in order to do this so we're going to do percentage error is equal to the estimate which is 4.8323 minus the actual which is 1.3069 to the power of 6 what we're actually trying to calculate up here over the actual which is 1.3069 to the power of 6 and then we times this by 100 and if you put this into a calculator this is equal to minus 3 0.02%. It doesn't specify decimal places and as I said I think you can write it without the sign if you want to. Okay so here's a question on binomial estimation so pause the video have a go and I'll go for the answer in about five seconds. Okay so for part A remember that ascending powers of x means the lowest uh, powers of um, x. We need to find the first four terms, so therefore we need to do four terms, so therefore it's to the power of 8. So we're going to do 8c0, which is 1, 8c1, which is 8, 8c2, which you put into a calculator, is 28, and 8c3, which is 56. They give us the four terms, and they're the four coefficients. And then it's going to be 1 for the next part, so it's 1, remember it starts from the power of 8, so it's 1 to the power of 8, then it's 1 to the power of 7. 1 to the power of 6, and 1 to the power of 5. And then we're going to times that by the next part, which is the x over 4. Remember, you need to put the whole thing to the power. So it's going to be x over 4 to the power of 0, x over 4 to the power of 1, x over 4 to the power of 2, and x over 4 to the power of 3. And then we're going to find the value of these. The first one is just going to be 1 because it's x, to the, uh, x, uh, x over 4 to the power of 0 which is always 1. Then it's going to be 8 times and it's going to be this is 1 over 4 the coefficient which is equal to 2 and then it's going to be x. Then it is 28 times 1 over 4 squared which is kind of taking the 1 out of 4 um, over this in order to get the coefficient. 28 divided by um, times in by uh, 1 over 4 squared is equal to 7 over 4 if you put it into a calculator and it's going to be x squared and then it's going to be 56 times 1 over 4 cubed which is equal to if you put it into a calculator 7 over 8 
x to the power of 3. So the answer is 1 plus 2x plus 7 over 4x squared plus 7 over 8x cubed. Okay, so for part b, we just use the same method that we talked about before, where we equal this to the bracket, and then we sub in the value of x that we find into the expression. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 1 plus x over 4 to the power of 8 is equal to 1.025 to the power of 8. We get rid of the powers of 8, so do 1 plus x over 4 is equal to 1.025 and then x over 4 is equal to minus uh, 1 from both sides to get 0 0.025 and then times both sides by 4 to get x is equal to 0 0.1 and then we just sub this into the expression up here to get 1 plus 2 0 0.1 plus 7 over 4 0 0.1 squared remember the squared plus 7 over 8 0 0.1 cubed, remember the cubed, and this is equal to, if you put it into your calculator, 1.21842 four decimal places, and this is the answer.